I wrote a book on P.T. Barnum. There's a customer born every minute. P.T. Barnum was the circus, uh, famous uh, publicist. He lost all of his wealth after he was rich and famous. He had invested in a company that went bankrupt and P.T. Barnum went down with the ship. And he got the idea to start speaking about how to be a success. And even he questioned it. He says, who is going to listen to me talk about success when I just went bankrupt? And his friends that were around him said, yes, but you know how to be a success because you did build your business. You did become a success. And even though you had fires that burned things down, you had this bankruptcy, he lost his wife, he had tremendous tragedies in his life. He now was going to go and talk about the principles that he knew worked to become a success. And he did go on the circuit. He did, he did start charging for that. He rebuilt his empire by telling people how to be a success when he, in effect, at that point, was not a success. He was bankrupt. Let me give you one more example. I've been rereading some Napoleon Hill stuff, and there's a a book that was not published in his lifetime called Outwitting the Devil. Have you ever read, read that? I, I read that, yes. Oh, it's it's a phenomenal. Spooky, yeah, it's yes. a spooky masterpiece. Because the devil's your own freaking mind. Yes. That's, that's the devil. But in this particular edition, they talk, and, and this is the unedited one based on his original manuscript. He talks about how he felt like a failure because he wrote Think and Grow Rich, and he was not rich. He started sales and um, marketing education schools, and he was doing less than his students. So he felt like an imposter. People still lined up because he had done enough research. You know, he interviewed Henry Ford and Andrew Carnegie and, you know, 500 some people. And so they lined up to hear from him. But he felt like a failure. He still went out there, wrote Think and Grow Rich, Law of Success, The Master Key to Riches, The Ladder to Success, you know, this book, and a whole lot of other ones, which of course have done well and continue to do well. So when you look at your own career and you look at where you're at right now, you are going to be more critical than the public. You will be more critical of yourself than the public. You're going to look at your life and you're going to dismiss it. You're going to look at everything that you're done and you're going to go, I'm 45, I haven't really done shit. But no, I even listen to you and go, you're 45 and you've done all this? And you taught yourself how to do all this? The average person isn't doing anything to improve themselves. And here you are at 45, already, already way ahead of the game. So that's the very first thing that I want to tell you right now is you have to own your own credentials. And your credentials are your life experience. You also have to drop the need to raise the bar, thinking that you can't go and promote yourself until you know it all, until you're a master. There is no knowing it all. There is no master. There is no finish line. We will be doing this till the day that we die, all of us, myself included.